Welcome to NewX. This is a presentation video for the Mini Kids UV LEDs. So here is a Samsung sample. So the first step it would be to take down all the plastic parts of the mini splits. First, uh, you need to take off the filters. All the two filters, you need to take it off. And then, after un unscrew all the screws, please uh, take off the cabinet from the top. There are some uh, clips that you can take off the cabinet easily. Okay, here we go. We take off the cabinet and put it aside. Remember there is a display LED to put it, put it carefully. And then we need to take off these uh, louvers because we need to install the mini kits inside the louver. So here we are going to take off the louvers. The louver is plastic so just uh, be careful that don't to break. Just please uh, take off the plastic grill, no, the metal grills. And then to take off this, uh, this, uh, this uh, grills as well, the plastic one. Okay, so here is uh, the, the, the space we are going to install uh, the mini kits. Because of our mini kits, we use uh, the 3M stickers. So in order to be uh, offensive, we need to make it very clear here. We need to clean it. So we use uh, the clean cloth. So here we use the cloth to, to clean. Clean all the space that we are going to install the mini kits. These mini kits we need to connect the cable to the control box here. So uh, actually we need to uh, put a hole on the plastic. So here we recommend you to use some toolings to put the hole here. So the size of the hole we are, we are going to, okay. So the hole is already here. So we put the hole in order to put the cable inside and connect to the control box here. So here is the mini kit's uh, package. So you first you take off the LED strips. Take off the 3M shields. This is very good uh, sticker and it will be very good uh, connection with the uh, plastic here. We put it, we recommend there is uh, an angle of about 45 degrees. So we put the strip here. So that's why we, we want to make make clean because we need to make sure the adhesive uh, tape can go well. So put it here and then we need to make sure that the cables goes right here. So we also need to use uh, some additional tapes in order to uh, to make to to project the cables here. Okay, after putting that in, we, we, need, we can put the cable to the other, the other one. <laughs> so here, we have the, the connector come to this side. 
and then with this side we need to connect to the drivers this is the driver the driver they have two ways the one way that is uh, the connector they will connect to the strips LED strips and the other the other the other way they will connect here is the power supply so this driver is similar like 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 uh, a power supply here <laughs> so it's very simple that you can just uh, put and and then connect yes so it's very simple and then we need to put well, we need to find a good position for the driver will recommend that the, the, the it could be here so it, it could be uh, put it here we need to use uh, some tips too and uh, it's, it's very important that we need to know where the winding is we recommend that the winding will go directly here at the same time that when the unit turns on we can see uh, see the lights on too so it can work at the same time as the unit works okay after we put the two connectors together we need to install the drivers the driver is also very simple it's very slim and also very wide voltage driver it could be from 85 to 266 voltage so it can be applied to all the models of the mini splits here we first uh, put the cables around because we, we, we give you a very uh, long cable in order to make sure the installation distance and here we can put down um, some tapes adhesive tapes in order to install the driver the driver the good position here will be by the side of the control box similarly we can use uh, the tape to put it uh, to put on the driver and then we we could simply put it on the con by the side of the control box <clears throat> so we uh, try to install the driver the, the good position for the driver we think we recommend the good position would be put directly to put it here is uh, together with the uh, pipes with the insulation and because of the driver we already make some uh, protection for the water water re resistance so we don't uh, worry about the water after turning on we can see that the unit is working quite good so the next step would be to put all the steps back backwards to put all the cabinets and also to install it back before put everything back please remember to turn off the ac and to be more safety uh, please make sure that you can cut off uh, the power supply too okay we install back all the louvers here one by one The installation is very easy because uh, those uh, plastic parts are very easy to take off and also very easy to take it to install it back. The metal grills, we need to install it back too. It's very amazing that all the all the parts that they are very well organized. The, the installation goes very easy. So let's install the louvers here. <laughs> Most of the parts is, is very simple to just click and put it up here. I need to remember to do it. 
this for this model they have a special design here okay okay now the next one would be to put back the cabinet here actually the installation of this mini kit mini kit is very similar like uh, some some people come to your house and also they try to clean your ac it's very simple but if uh, you are a bit, uh, you are able to do it by yourself you can do it too and uh, there is no complicated uh, complicated uh, installation very simple very safety very safe and also very easy so if you can install by yourself you can install by yourself too but actually if uh, you you are able to call someone call a technician it will be better Make sure that the cabinet is well fixed. And then we need to install back the LED display here. To make sure that we also need to uh, install the, this uh, sensor in this position too put all the screws back and uh, install the plastic filters the control box cover Okay, put back the filters, those two filters. After install this mini kit, uh, your mini split will have a very clean evaporator. And at the same time, they kill the virus, they kill the bacteria, and also um, some dirty odors. So you will, be, you will be having a very clean air indoor and also you can enjoy a very healthy air in your room Ooh, we put everything back we simply put the unit back and try to install the, try to put the power on here try to put the power on here just to feel and see how the unit goes so okay we're turning on here and then use the controller we turn the AC on okay it's starting and let's see what happens to the mini kits here okay automatically because of the blower it goes up so the AOD goes up too so from bottom you can see it's very beautiful light here Actually, it can it can kill the virus in um, within three minutes. You can kill the virus and run it, and then uh, around ten minutes, it can clean the air indoor. So let's 